Good day everybody, it's Karinara here and welcome back to Dimple with Park. Let's actually turn to this guy for a moment. Our clone, clone guy. Should we go check out our... Not the exit. Our place. Trailers over there. And to our place. Let's go there. I said let's go there. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there's a hamster here. I can't talk to the hamster. Shame. Can I pick up the hamster? Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Okay, fine. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. It's mm. my cheese. I'm letting it age. Cool. That's a crappy idea. Well, let's not feed it then, sure. But at least we found the hamster. So, that's pretty cool. Finding a hamster is a good idea. Because that's our pet, pet apparently. So, what is... That's supposed to do. There's a big hunk of cheese here. Yeah, you just put it in there. Oh well, let's just leave it there. It's all good. Oh, I can pick up this thing. I don't want to pick that up. Didn't mean to stand this thing. It doesn't work with that. Does it really not? Okay. We have made progress, but what next? How do we make more progress? Who knows? Can we like Well that's one oh, gee. little beeper loves this crap. We need to pick all of them. Okay, two. I can count. Almost half full. Half full with just three popcorns. Are you just going to? It's a full bag of popcorn. Woohoo! You were just going to keep swearing, weren't you? Oh yeah, there's a stilts over there. Let's go. Oh hey, there's a piece of dust. Speck of dust. Thank you very much. And let's get in here. And use popcorn to hamster. Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Cool. Is there anything else here? Get the key to factory gate. I think we get that later. I think now that we have fed that guy, we can leave this place. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yep, we can leave. Awesome. Let's go to country road. Take me home. Now we are here. For some reason. I don't know. Let's keep looking around. But now we are Ransom the Clown. So we are really awesome. I wonder what kind of reactions we get if we speak to people. Who knows? Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Uh... Got any more of those f awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? No, you wouldn't get it. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Terrible. How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hey. We don't use that sort of terminology around here. 
What are you going to do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. High-level. Sure. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. Sure. Okay, I guess we don't have anything to do here. See ya, Ransom. So cool. Their box is waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. Are you sure, Ransom? Oh well, let's keep going around. I just want to talk to people. I don't care about getting Ransom. forward. What brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You, tabloid hack! Why the f*** are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, let's do the f interview. You won't regret this. I doubt it. So, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. Mm. It's because political correctness has gone mad. People are too sensitive now. I have freedom of speech, and if they don't like it, they can leave. Uh, which they did. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer, or a performer who needs to be committed? Hmm. Honestly, I can't take the stuff off. It's not so much as a choice, as it is a horrible curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you could take a belt sander to my face, and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. But Let's it's talk the about truth. happier times now. Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. Let's see. I mean, you didn't make people laugh, so that's not. I like this one. Money to do it seems. Look, sounds wanted. like an answer. I don't have enough money to eat caviar out of a supermodel's belly button while Yo Yo Ma serenaded me on my own jet flying to a private island in the Bahamas. Having enough money that my coke habit made Scarface look like a casual user. Lovely. Moving on. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? Let's see. That sounds good. Let's go with that. that Chuck happened. The arrogant thought my dolls were beneath him. The man had no vision. He was still clinging to his dead pillow dream. Bad-mouthing Chuck Edmund is certainly one way to get yourself attention, Ransom. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? Let's see. Should we do this one? It's really fun to listen to these stories. That's pretty much why I do this. This hole needs me. I remind everyone what a garbage dump this town is. In time, maybe they'll get off their asses and do something about it. Yeah, I, I can see why you're so popular. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? Hmm. Let's see. I regret them near everything. I regret them near everything. I was a who burned bridges with everyone around me. Didn't appreciate anything I had when I had it, and I deserve everything I get now. I would do a lot of things differently, but I can't turn back the clock. All I can do is move forward and try to be better. Now well, that, that didn't sound refreshingly right. Refreshingly honest, Ransom. Finally, Ransom. Do you have any big plans for the future? Hmm. What would be cool? Gonna get all back? Pay my dues? Nah, that doesn't sound good. Get all back. Get it all back. 
You can't keep a comedic genius like me down forever. I'll get the funding for my doll somehow, and then I'm out of this backwater hick town. I think I speak for everyone in town when I say, good luck with that. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure, whatever. It was cool, cool to do something like that. Kinda different. And listening to their story. I like stuff like that. Oh, hello, Willy. You got any loose change? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Willy sauce. You look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... Hmm. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... That's funny. I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. So you are just joking around. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... That doesn't seem to work. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. Hey, buy me a drink? Does this help? Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Oh, Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I going to do with this piece of... Buy me a drink? Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? Well, you want nothing, but we know a lot of people that want a lot of it. Because now we have our blood sample. Which is great. Can we actually use ransom to put it in? Great! What do I want with a bloody wallet? I'm not gonna touch that computer. Okay, you are not going to do that. Gotcha. I guess because you are not a police. So let's find I Reyes. Need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Reyes. Let's go get Ransom and the bloody wallet. So I guess we can get the blood sample from that? Is it the blood sample we get from that? I think it's the blood sample we get Evening, from that. Ransom. Okay, here we are. So give wallet to Reyes. Here's a bloody wallet. I hope you get hepatitis. Cool. Now we can throw it into the machine. That was easy. After I figured it out. Let's see. Come on, be done soon. Now all we are missing is fingerprints. That's kinda cool. Bloody wallet and corpse blood are completely accurate. Of course they are. Oh nice, let's go. I right, I can't Did I fix the Alestron? I think I fixed it. I'm pretty There's a sure. Fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Okay, yeah, it's working now. So let's put this in. And this one. Cool. Oh nice. Oh, can't we use fingerprint fingerprint kit on this? Cool. We actually did a thing. 
I figured it out all by myself. Use this one to this one. It won't fit in the slot. Ah, we need tape, right. Where would the tape be? Lots of medical books there. Because it doesn't have the tape. Where do we get tape? We don't have any tape on us, no. Hmm. You would think the tape would be around here somewhere. But I've looked everywhere. There's a speck of dust here. In any of these? Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Okay, I guess not. Sure, whatever. Okay, what should we do next? Should we go back to the hotel? I feel like we are needed there. To this direction we shall go. Up to there. Could we, like, give our map to like I Ray? don't have enough to carry already. You actually have pretty much nothing to carry if we go with that. Where did I say I was going? To the hotel. Right. We are back here. Alrighty then. So what could there be? Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Okay, I've heard this one already. Definitely not, Abu. Okay. I'm going Enough to check out that. your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I guess we could change to our ghost boy. And let's tap this and look at it. Oh, it needs a password. How am I supposed to know what the password would be? It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. Or maybe 1986 is the password. Oh, it turned off. Let's try 1986. I can't write. Okay, never mind then. So let's not do that then. I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Like seriously. Maybe I leave this place off. Okay, stop. Stop already. So I guess then there is Dolores, but for her I know even lef less what to do. Maybe back to the Chuck's office, maybe? And you stop shoveling the ground. Dig in. Let's see. If we go all the way back here. Is there something we missed? Well, there's a speck of dust here. Anything else? I feel like I've looked at everything here. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Yeah, that's cool. I don't see that there would be anything in here. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Hmm, funny desk. No drawers at all. Hmm. 
gauge on everyone that I need to get the key to factory gate so it doesn't matter who gets it. I mean, this doesn't have anything on it. I don't think there was any mention of a lawyer anywhere. Right? I'm pretty sure. Let's just firstly go through. I don't remember seeing anything about a lawyer. No, I don't think there's anything. Could it be this one? One one three eight. I don't think so, but maybe. Because it's so obviously said there. Okay, no. Should we try the one one three eight? Just call into random numbers. Sounds great. I guess we could first check that what number is one one three eight. So look at phone book. And okay, it would be impossible to find. Yeah, there's so many names. Thank God I don't live in a time where we need to use phone books. Let's try the 1138. I can't open that. Didn't mean to open it. I want to use it. Okay, I guess that's not a real number. I guess that was not a real number. But where am I supposed to know the number? Because it was not Ransom's lawyer that we needed because he was on vacation or something like that. Digging. Yeah, yeah, keep digging, buddy. Hmm. And why are you carrying a multi pie? I still get lost after all these years. Okay, that just went to random place. Hmm, I have no idea. Why would it be so hard to find a lawyer's number? Didn't mean to do that. A lawyer's number. Is there anything at my room? These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. Oh, hi, what are you? Gimme? Didn't I pick up that already earlier? Oh well. It's my state of the art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Commodore 64, how nice. Okay, I just can. It's my state of the yeah, art yeah, Commodore shut up. 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Yeah, understood. Okay, I need only 23 more specs of dust. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Where do we get a lawyer? Who knows? Could we somehow go to the hotel and get the attention of the ghost with her? Yeah, because Raymond has a quest to get Dolores' attention. So maybe that's how we get it. Be careful. 
which go like here and yeah I can't it okay, must be a ghost doing that I didn't know there were ghosts in the hotel it's me Dolores I'm a ghost no must be my imagination what's going on here Abu the drinking fountain is acting up oh it's just the fountain Abu again I go going doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers Abu oh right the plumbers is there a phone anywhere there is let's see Pigeon Brothers plumbing Electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. I don't have a phone book here. Oh, that was a great idea. Uh, let's change to this guy. So I guess we could get her attention. We can chap her. Oh. Can't blow on her. Can't chill her. Maybe we just need to keep on acting with the drinking mouth, drinking thing, or something. They should really get someone to look at these pipes. Or the ghosts. Whichever it is. Yeah, you said so. I guess we need to Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and paranormal hmm. investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Pigeon whatever. We need to find a phone book. Oh, the hotel rooms have phone books. Right. Right, right, right. Let's go there. Let's go in here. What was the floor they were on? Let's see. 404. So, 4. And 404 because here is a phone book so look at that let's find the pigeon brothers B as in pigeon brothers I guess pigeon bros plumbing 4616 hello You've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal-related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Really? But we... Screwed you. But anyways, I guess that's enough for today. I hope you liked it, and bye-bye!